Yo, what's up guys? It's Wazette and today I'm back with another video on my channel. I'm going to be giving you a little bit of an insight and a rundown onto how I wrap my bars. First things first, you're going to need a wrap. So right here, I've got some Galaxy fabric. I have used things like bandanas in the past. It's pretty much up to you. I just recommend getting something that's not too thick because it's really going to have a hard time to kind of join from the fabric or the material all the way to your metal bars if you use something too thick. Next up, we've got the craft glue. You can use anything along those lines. Just make sure that it bonds fabric and materials to other surfaces. In particular, today we're gonna to be bonding it to metal, but it doesn't often say that on the glue, so just be aware that it is something that you kind of just wing it with. And the other thing is to make sure that it dries clear. The next thing you're gonna need are some scissors. I highly recommend that you get a nice sharp pair. If you don't have some though, it's okay. I'm sure they'll do the same job. The sharper, the better though. Other than that, it's good to have a texture around just to help when leaving marks when you're trying to measure up. So now moving on, you're gonna need some bars. Today I'm gonna be wrapping these Envy Reaper bars. They're pretty thrashed. They've got my old bandana fabric wrap on them. I gave this scooter away about six or seven months ago to my young homie Jaden. He's at school today and I'm actually doing this as a surprise. His mum hooked me up and let me get the scooter this morning. Um, You've got your grips on here. They're gonna come super vital when it comes to measuring the crossbar. And down here, you're also gonna need your clamp as you're gonna be measuring the down tube. But that's pretty much all that you're gonna need. So first things first, I'm gonna get into it and I'm gonna take these bars off the scooter. So there you have it, you've got your grip length just there. I am gonna mark it out in a second, but pretty much you want it to be as raw as possible. Next thing, if you do have a bar up on there, which I'm gonna assume that you don't, it's just good to clean it off. If you've got any stickers on your bars or anything like that, now is gonna be the best time to just get rid of them to make sure that your fabric or bar wrap, whatever you wanna call it, does stick to your bars as best as possible. Alright guys, so here we have the setup. First things first, we're going to be measuring our grips along the lengths there. So you can see I've got it all the way to the end, so where our bar end's going to go in, coming all the way in. I'm going to do the same on this side, all the way from where the bar end is going to be across to the center. Then you just want to grab your texter or anything that you can leave a mark with. Going to let know, and you want to go like a centimeter into the grip kind of thing because you want it to overlap. Just draw a little line, like I said, just a centimeter or so in. All right, so now we're gonna come down the bars and go to the clamp section. We've got the clamp there. We're really lucky right now because we've kind of already got this guide. These bars have been used for quite some time, so there is a bit of a clamp impression. Um, but if you haven't, you've got brand new bars or something like that, you're not gonna have this guide kind of thing right here. So I'm just gonna leave a line right there. And that's where we wanna stop. With the bar one, it's not so important that you don't cross it, but with this one down here, it's gonna be really important because if you do cross it, when you try to put the clamp on, it's gonna scrunch up here and it's really gonna stuff up your job. Now that we've marked it all out, I am gonna need both my hands. Let's get into the dirty work and switch to the GoPro. All right, so now that we've got it marked out, like I just said, guys, it is time to move on to the next step. And that is gonna be measuring up your down tube, which is this one right here. I don't know how well you guys can see this on the GoPro, but realistically, you're gonna to wanna to go from the bottom of your crossbar or your cross tube, whatever you wanna call it, right there, all the way down to that line that we've made down there where the clamp hits. Then I'm just gonna trim a bit with the scissors somewhere around here. The good thing is, with the start, you can kind of cut it as loose as you possibly want. Just gonna cut it in a bit. The next thing now, you're gonna wanna make sure that it overlaps. Obviously, I'm moving it down a little bit so it can go over the bottom because I've got these gussets up here that you can see. But I'm just gonna overlap it. And you just wanna make sure that you've cut it far enough to overlap, so I clearly have. So then what I'm gonna do is use it as a guide. Roughly make it look squared like this. Put some lines roughly up there, just so I have a rough idea where I'm cutting. All right, so now that we've got our piece, I'll show you what I was talking about just before with it overlapping. There you go, put one side down and the other side clearly overlaps. 
So now we're onto the next bit, which is going to be laying down some glue. I've got the glue here. You literally just want to make a nice little line or a section. There you go. It's coming out nice and easy. So we just want to pump it up that middle bit right there. Even if you don't go all the way up to the top, make sure you go all the way to the bottom at the start. And that's realistically just going to mean that we can place it down for the first one and make sure we've got it in the right spot. Going to line it up now. You want to go with the middle on your front. So we're going to be gluing down the front of your bars first. That is the most important thing. Kind of forgot to say that just out of routine. But we're gluing down the front first. So we've got in the middle of the fabric going along the center of the front of your bars. And we're just going to push down on either side. So now we're going to be gluing one of the sides. You don't want to glue both of them at the same time. This one's got to go down first and then we're going to overlap the other one. So we just pick whatever one. And then it's literally just putting some pressure on it, pulling around the bars. The tighter you can get it, the better the fabric is going to look. Make sure that you've got that bottom glued down nice and firm. And you go up the middle. Alright, just to finish this one off, you're literally going to go around now, flip it up on its side, glue down any of these edges that you see here. Remember, we're still doing that first side. There we have it and just push down get that glue nice and firmly molded with the fabric the more glue the better obviously you don't want to do too much because it's just going to be really soggy it will dry kind of hard though which is a bonus and it actually makes the durability of the wrap a lot longer than what a lot of people would assume but keep that in mind it is not invincible it is just fabric glued to your bars so there is going to be some wear and tear over time once that's done there you just want to let that dry for a little bit before we really get into pumping this next side it shouldn't take too long though, 10 to 15 minutes is usually what I really give it, just at least to give it a head start in the drying process. So as you can probably tell, it hasn't fully dried, but we've given it enough of a head start so we can move on to the next part and we're going to repeat the process, glue whatever we haven't glued down and do it again. And then we're going to repeat the process glue whatever we haven't glued down and do it again. And there we have it. We're just going to leave it to dry now guys. And then we'll get into the next section which is going to be this gussets part here. And then finally we'll move on to the crossbar. A few moments later. So now onto the next step. We're going to be filling in these gaps here with the gussets. The hard thing is with bendy bars like this and why I highly recommend doing your first one on T-bars is that it goes at all different angles so you kind of have to make the fabric work for you. With these, we're just going to put some pieces here, most likely some little triangles like that, just folding over the edges as well. Pretty much just to make sure that when it happens or when you glue the final section over, if you do have any little gaps missing, it's going to be pretty much camouflaged by having this already under it. With these sections, you actually want to make sure you do give it time to dry. Alright, so now to move on to this gusset here, all I've done there Cut out a little piece like this, doesn't exactly matter with shape so much. Make sure we've got the glue cover down there and in the gaps and then we're just going to place it on there, making sure that it overlaps towards the back. I'm just going to give that some time to dry there, prop it up on the glue so it's in the air and there we have it here we've got the bars the gossips are drying out now they're still not fully dry but we are going to at least measure up this crossbar section 
I don't know how well you can see it, but we've got the black lines that have measured out the grips on either side. And what we're gonna do is just measure the fabric a little bit over that, just to allow for any extra pull when it comes into the curve. So you wanna go a little bit wider than those black lines now when you're cutting out your fabric. Another thing to take on board when you're actually measuring it out is that you wanna come down pretty far to cover any of these gaps here. And the same goes for the back. The back goes pretty high up and it doesn't necessarily matter, but we still want to make it as clean as possible. So what we're going to do is at least come halfway down here. Well, I say halfway, but realistically just a center or two past the lowest part of the crossbar. So I've just made a little cut there. I'm just going to quickly show you guys what I mean. You've got the black lines just here on the front and we just want to make sure we go a little bit wider. I've gone quite some distance wider just to be extra sure with this one because I'm showing you guys obviously we're going to come down there to the bottom of the gussets I'm going to go on this front measurement there we go make sure I've got enough room at the back so I've cut it pretty much to a good distance now it's just to cut all the way across like I did before guys I'm just going to put a rough little line along here just to give me a bit of a guide when I'm cutting I can kind of see it better than when I'm actually cutting And now we're on to our final part, realistically anyway, which is gluing down this top section. Onto the first bit of gluing now with the crossbar. All we're gonna do now, lay some glue along here and then just let it sit. But when we put this down, what we're gonna make sure is that on the front section, which is this section for me, make sure you double check guys, see there's the back just there. On the front, we wanna make sure that we overhang it enough like so. So it comes down quite far in the front, almost to the bottom of the gussets if you've got that. If you haven't got gussets, you're doing a T-bar, it's good to say uh, maybe a centimeter, two centimeters down, just to keep it safe. Here we go, dropping that glue down the middle there. Another little tip, which I will give you guys, which I'm just gonna work out now, is when you're lining up the front of your bars, you actually want it to work with whatever colors and stuff you've got going on. Depending on the pattern that you've chosen, it does kind of make a bit of a difference. With this one here, see it's got this little dot of black and what I'm gonna do is try and join that in. I don't know how well you can see that there, but it kind of lines up with the fabric that I already had or the pattern that was already there, which it's gonna be joining to. And I think that that's gonna give it a nice clean look when it comes to actually finishing it off. When you're doing this top bit, it really is important to take your time, not to rush it. I've only glued here for now. I am gonna move on to these other sides, but realistically, you just really need to focus, take your time, as with curved bars, you're gonna to have to merge it. If you don't have curved bars, it's so straightforward. It's just brap, 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 glue across the top, glue the back around, and then glue the front. With this, it's a little bit different. You do have to maneuver it around the curve. So all I'm gonna do now, take my scissors, make some cuts just on the back side of it here, and all that's gonna do is get rid of some of the tension. I'm sure if I flip it around, you can see how like it's puffed up here. That's because it's so tight here, and it's trying to find out what way it really needs to go. But we're gonna give it some breathing space. Back into it now. We're on the back end side of the bars now. I'm gonna trim this centerpiece down just because it literally does nothing but just covers a bit at the back. It's not very important as we've covered most of it already, but I just wanna get it out of the way nice and early. There we have it. All right, so now that we've glued this middle section down here, we're gonna move on to gluing across the top. We don't want it to run down either side just across the top right there. And we are gonna keep in mind that the front has to be the best looking section. Now we're just gonna make sure we're paying attention to the front side of our bars when we're pushing this down now. So we want that to look the neatest. And there we have it. We're just gonna pull, pull, pull down, get that glue to show through. And it looks nice and smooth through there. So that side is actually looking really good. It's a little tense in here, but all that's gonna take is a cut and then we're sweet. Now to repeat the process on this side. So it does hang a little bit further over than the mark, which you can see on this other side, but I'm just gonna trim it down a little bit just to make it easier. And when you've got it under your grips, it will actually cause a bit of friction if you're doing bar spins and tricks that require you to actually use your hands. So that's pretty much most tricks when it comes to scooters. So you don't really want too much of it under your grip or it's just gonna tear, rip, and then that's gonna take away from the actual wrap. So now that I've glued down both top sections, 
here and here. I am going to move on to the back part. I'm going to trim any excess as we don't necessarily need it. So here you have a pretty decent insight at the back of the bars, what they're gonna look like. They're covered in glue right now, so you can't necessarily see the pattern, but when it dries, you have a crispy view of it flowing around the curves there. As we flip it around to the front, all we have to do is make those cuts and then overlap it towards the back, covering it in glue, and that is pretty much it. So we want to make sure that we're pulling it, making sure it's nice and tense and pushing down, especially in these little like gaps and dips here where the bar curves. There we have it. We're on. So we've got this side down. We're going to move on to this other side now. What I'm going to do now, just make this little cut up here. It's just a little experimental cut for you guys. I'll give you a little view. If you do that and then cut in, that's also going to create less tension in there and to be honest that's probably the best way if you didn't want to make those cuts or if you thought that they're going to make it look ugly you could do it that way cut up and then across the tension because as you pull it back and realistically go around no one's necessarily going to see that curve there it's up to you what you do though both of those um, little cuts work so just go for it now into the gluing So now that I've smashed it all with some glue there, I'm going to move on to the final step and that is just hitting each of the edges that are pretty bare with any glue and also any little areas that you may have missed or that have dried and you think could use a little bit of extra gluing. So there we have it guys, I've glued all the little ends and it's just time to let them sit and dry for a little bit. So I'm going to head out and I'll show you the final product. That's a wrap for this tutorial guys, hopefully you learned something or you've got some pointers for if you want to wrap your bars at home. Here we have them, the Galaxy Wrapped MV Reaper bars. I personally think they turned out pretty sick. They've got the grips back on and the clamp back on, so all I have to do now is slide them onto a scooter. If you're looking to do something like this at home, all you need is some fabric, some craft glue, scissors. A bit of patience and I'm sure you're gonna nail it. Make sure to drop a like on this video, leave any comments below and I promise I'll try and get back to you and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.